Yasu Vremalaka Stikanate. I am Game Greek and we are playing Cartcraft. Today we are going to Brento Monte, brand new track. I've only raced here in practice, maybe 10 laps and finished about three of those. So we're gonna jump to the time trials here with the uh, KA100 cart and see how far we can climb. It's a lot of fun, the track is really tight, flowy, um, gotta get it right. The walls are there for you to get sucked into and it's really easy to just exceed the track limits. So let's get right into it. Oh, I'm flying. Oh, just a gorgeous day. A lot of puffy clouds out here. Ah, holy crap, what the hell is going on? So these are my first few laps against insolutions.gr. Maybe that's a Greek address. I'll have to check that out afterwards. All right, there's only six turns in this track. It's a very small, tight track. You want to hit the apex here on turn two. It's tempting to go deep and try to carry speed, but I honestly, I just didn't find the right line maybe, and it didn't really work for me. I like turn three here. It's, uh, it's kind of where it can make or break your lap. Because as you hit that apex, you kind of want to point your cart at the wall and hit the gas and then turn a little bit later. This little back stretch into turn five, which eventually uh, you can take flat. But as I build up the lap here, you'll see me lift just to play it safe. And that's an easy win for the first, first lap. All right, and we start that climb up the leaderboard. Mac is in the house. Just trying to carry speed. It's hard through turn six. It's a really, the final turn is really tight. So if you can get across the line around 80, you're doing well. A little turn, a little slide there through turn two, but since we're still pretty high up on, or low on the leaderboards, yeah, you can make up time throughout the lap. Good turn four, hitting the gas right at, as you uh, touch the apex on the curb. Whoops, starting to take turn five flat. Still not quite finding the line right through there. It's perfect, but. Easy couple tenths to make. Eighty one, all right. Do better than that. Magnet. Cool helmet. Ah, mess up that turn six, that final turn there. Yeah, going deeper there in turn two and getting on the gas. Not not necessarily faster. Ooh. Messy there in turn three. But it's such a it's such a short uh, track that's a lot of fun to drive, so I felt I felt like I didn't it didn't feel like a chore if you went off the track to just keep going and try to get the rest of the track right. It's over before you know it. Touch the curve in turn one. Ooh, a little deeper here in turn two. Tidy in turn three, missing the wall by a little bit. Maximizing, taking up the whole track. A little cleaner through turn five there, not on the gas the whole time. Just dabbing the throttle there at the end. Good lap, getting into 35 second range. Ah, that's a big jump. 64. All right, bonks. This was the first uh, time it took me, you know, the most laps, eight laps to uh, 
figure it out and gain some time on him. Good turn four exit. Making up a lot of a lot of time back stretch. Oh, turn five flat, that's good. Ah, uh, heartbreak there turn on turn six. It's so tough, it's such a tight angle to get right. You're so nervous to you can't take it flat. Super wide in turn two there. Uh, and this lab, this is my best sector three time of the day. Uh, eight, eight second, 8.605. Not a bad turn four, catch him up in the back straight. Oh, uh, that's nice, flat, almost, yeah, basically flat through turn five there. Good to final turn six, and over the line. Mid 35s, not too bad. Slow progression up the, up the ranks. It's really satisfying, I find this the most satisfying. Racing the AI is a nightmare. Go first. His slogan means, I'm not here to sympathize. Google that. I feel you go first. Oh, so wide and do turn two. Could have done that a lot better. Oof, just touching the wall there through turn three. That happens more often than not. It's just, if you don't get that right, it's going to send you right into that wall. Good turn five. Great turn six. Just keep your foot in. Go, go, go. Over the line. Yeah, marginal gains, but they're still gains. Forty-nine and blow you. All right. Mm. Messy turn two there again. I was trying to stay wide through most of the turns just to get a, a good angle on the uh, bonk in the wall there through turn three again. Um, but yeah. Sometimes when you keep racing for a long time, you can forget the basics. So on this lap, this, this Sector 1 and Sector 2 times are actually my second best of the session. Tidy turn three. Good turn four. Love that back straight, catching up so many people there. And yeah, very tight last two turns. Good improvement. The more you drive this track, the, honestly, the easier it gets to not hit the walls and to just kind of flow through it and not, not need to hit the, the brake too much. It's really just about getting wide and try, really trying to apex the, the each corner. It sounds like every track, but especially this one with the tight walls. There's just not a lot of room for other lines. So this is my best Sector 2 time of the day. Uh, 16, 6 to 8. It's a great turn 4. Catch him up on uh, the back straight again. Playing it safe there to turn 5 and turn 6. But again, small gains. Yeah, 30.
All right, Oletao. Pronunciation is probably not too correct there, but you have to forgive me. So this is my best sector one time of the day, uh, 9729. Yeah, that's how you want to take turn two. Finally getting it right after the whole session. Little wheel, a uh, little skid there through turn three, carrying a little too much speed. But not too far, maybe a tenth off of my best time for sector two here. And this sector three is my second best sector three of the day, so. And probably the best turn six of the day. Nice. Super marginal game there, slim, but I, I'll take it all day. 28th in, in the US, not too bad at all. Lots of fun. Bacon Racing, coincidentally, has the number one time in the Monster Kart Wilton Mill uh, track, so he's up next. I was off him, I, I did like, I don't know, 15 more laps, was not able to beat him, as you can see. 0.061 seconds away. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Think about subscribing. More content coming soon in Cart Craft. That's a tongue twister. Uh, I had a good time learning the uh, Brento Monte track. And uh, yeah, I think next time we can make our way probably into the low 20s. Maybe break into the top 10. We'll find out next time. Thank you so much guys for watching and have a great day. Fata Puma.